Sula, the Lips of Holiness, teach us to raise our minds and hearts often to the Trinity, and to fix there our respectful and loving attention. Since you journey with us on the path of eternal life, do not be a stranger to the frail pilgrims your charity is willing to shelter. Turn your merciful gaze towards us, draw us into your brilliance, shower us with your kindness, lead us into light and into love, lead us ever further and higher into the splendors of heaven. Let nothing ever trouble our peace, nor make us leave the thought of God, but let each minute take us further into the depths of the august mystery, until the day when our souls, fully blossomed by the light of divine union, will see all things in eternal love and unity. on me, a sinner. Jesus, Son of God, Savior, have mercy on me, a sinner. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. Wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done? That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humbled contrite heart you will not spur. In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. 
then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocausts offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Jesus, Son of God, Savior, have mercy on me, a sinner. To those who walk without blame, 
Lord God of hosts, happy the man who trusts in you. <clears throat> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. They stayed with him that day. May the God of peace make you perfect in holiness. A strong city have we. He sets up walls and ramparts to protect us. Open up the gates to let in a nation that is just, one that keeps faith. A nation of firm purpose you keep in peace, in peace for its trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord is an eternal rock. He humbles those in high places, and the lofty city he brings out. He tumbles it to the ground, levels it with the dust. It is trampled underfoot by the needy, by the footsteps of the poor. The way of the just is smooth, the path of the just you make level. Yes, for your way and your judgments, O Lord, we look to you. Your name and your title are the desire of our souls. My soul yearns for you in the night. Yes, my spirit within me keeps vigil for you. When your judgment dawns upon the earth, the world's inhabitants learn justice. O Lord, you meet our peace to us, for it is you who have accomplished all we have done. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. <clears throat> Amen. May the God of peace make you perfect in holiness. As his majesty is, so also is his mercy. The Lord is king with majesty in robe. The Lord has robed himself with might. He has girded himself with power. The world you made firm not to be moved. Your throne has stood firm from a fold. From all eternity, O Lord, you are. The waters have lifted up, O Lord. The waters have lifted up their voice. The waters have lifted up their thunder. Greater than a roar of mighty waters, more glorious than the surgings of the sea, the Lord is glorious on high. Truly your decrees are to be trusted. Holiness is fitting to your house, O Lord, until the end of time. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. As His majesty is, so also is His mercy.
from the book of Exodus. You have seen for yourselves how I bore you up on eagles' wings and brought you here to myself. Therefore, if you hearken to my voice and keep my covenant, you shall be my special possession, dearer to me than all other people, through all, though all the earth is mine. You shall be a kingdom of priests, a holy nation. Compassionate and forgiving as your Father is, says the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. To give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shed on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Be compassionate and forgiving as your Father is, says the Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. O God, who have taught us to chasten our bodies for the healing of our souls, enable us, we pray, to abstain from all sins and to strengthen our hearts to carry out your loving commands through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the
the divine assistance be always with us. And, and also with our brothers and sisters. Who shining star of the church, who reflect the Father's light, by, by revealing to us the mystery of the word, eternal fruit of his bosom, source of all life and of all truth, O oh, beloved, beloved disciple, disciple of the Lord made flesh, flesh, who at the Last Supper rested your head upon his heart, drawing the secrets of the Father's beloved Son and of the Savior of all, O oh, beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received the treasure of the heart of Jesus crucified, thus becoming the witness of his wounded heart, we beseech you, despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, our infidelities, we are our Father, that we may be true sons of the Father, living by His life and by the ardor of the wounded heart of the Acapitos, under the life-giving guidance of the Spirit Paraclete, in Mary, Mother of Jesus, and our Mother. Angelus Domini Nunciavit Mariae, et concepit Spiritus Santo. Ece Angela Domini, fiat mihi secundum verbum tuum. Et verbum caro factum est, et habitavit in nobis. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu, in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Ora pro nobis sanga Dei genitis, ut in die ficiamur promissionibus Christi, oremus. Gratiam tuam que sumus Domini mentibus nostris infunde, ut qui angelo nunciante Christi fili tu incarnazione coniovimus, per passione meius et cruce, ad resurrectionis gloriam perducamur, periundem Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen.